In this video, we will show how a Java Spring Boot billing service communicates with a Java Spring Boot customer service using REST template. Hi, it's Stefan from Deep Data Ocean, where we help you getting rid of your software monolith or your legacy software application. And if you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button and all the links I mentioned in the video you can find below in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, that does make a difference. So let's jump into it. This is the second video of my Java Spring Boot series. So if you are generally interested in Java Spring Boot, make sure to watch the other parts. In this video, we'll develop a billing microservice that calls the customer service to get all the customer, customer attributes and we will use a REST template for that. At the end of the video, I'll share a bonus. After we've got all the attributes from the customer back, you might want to get all the billings delivered back to the caller. We will do this at the end of the video, so make sure to stick till the end. Let me now start showing the customer service we want to request. So let's get our hands dirty and look into the source code. So here we are having our customer microservice. Here we are having the customer application, which does nothing more than being the Spring Boot application. And in the controller we have specifically added this method here, this is for the get customer slash ID, which provides the possibility to request or to, to get a specific customer by providing the ID. This is what we later on will call by the billing service. Let us check quickly the implementation of this method. So here we, we are having the service, the customer service implementation. And here is the method public customer get customer ID. So we are just iterating overall customers and um, returning the found customer. In case our customer ID is the given ID. So here we are having the, the customer um, DTO which has a couple of attributes plus setters and getters. But we are just getting the ID back, the, the object back and returning it to the caller. Now we need to develop the Java Spring Boot billing microservice. I've already prepared the step of the microservice, so we can just focus on the interesting part of the REST template. We'll iterate over all billings and call the customer service using REST template. So here we are having our billing service. Let me show you firstly the billing uh, DTO. So we are having a billing date, a payment date, a custom ID as well as the custom object. So then we have the next thing is the billing application, which does nothing more than starting the application. In the interface we are having an init builds and a create billing. Let me show that. So the init builds is just for getting some initial data so that we have something to work with. And I use the add post construct here, which makes the init builds execute just after the object created. And most important, the create billings. So the main idea is we're having a REST controller for the get billings, which we can call to get back all the billings containing all the customer objects. So here we're seeing we're having the customer service URL. So this customer service in this example runs on localhost. This is something you need to overload in order to run it on a Kubernetes cluster or in different environments. But for this example, it's good enough to have this local host address here. And here we're using the REST template, which just does the trick. So basically, we're using here 
the billings that we have, we are iterating over all the objects in the billings using the dot stream method and then the for each. So for each billing, we're gonna call firstly the rest template and we're getting and we're using the get for object method. Here we are just providing the URL which comes from above here plus the customer ID. So here we are putting together the base address of the customer service with the ID and we're just saying please give me a customer class back. So here we're having also a customer DTO which is something like the other one which we just copied over from um, the customer service so it's a code duplication which I personally prefer to having a library that is based on both. Yes, we have a code duplication and we might need to update both but it gives us the freedom for independence. So this basically means we're iterating over all billings and we're getting the customer object back from the rest template. We're just saying please issue a get call on this URL and just get us the object back. And all this JSON um, marshalling or get, getting the JSON back and putting it into object is done by the rest template magic behind. Afterwards, we're just setting it uh, to the custom object. That's basically it. In the beginning, I've promised you a bonus. We'll now take the billings list transfer them into JSON and return them to the requester. So we now got the, the billings list back together with the um, custom object integrated. The big question is how now can we how can we get a JSON object out of it and returning the JSON object to the caller? To be honest, no, nothing more to be done. So the point is we're just returning here the new response entity and we are saying please um, call this create billing service method and return the status uh, 200. In the background we're having this um, billing object and it contains all the getters and setters that we need. So without the getters it wouldn't work. And same applies here for the customer object. So here we're also having the getters and setters and this is just done behind the scenes of the response entity that just creates back, creates the JSON object and just returns it to the caller. So let us now check how this works. So first I'm starting the customer service. And there we go. Customer application started and then I'm starting the billing service. So here I'm having my postman where I can just request the billing service on the port 8080 and I'm doing the get method for the billings, get billings. So when I'm clicking here on send, it will return me all three billings together with the customer included. The ones of you who know me already know that I'm quite curious. So I'm having two questions for you. Firstly, how did you like REST template? And secondly, do you plan to use it in your next microservice? Please leave me a comment below with the answer. I really love to see that. And if you like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. That does make a difference. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you get informed by all the new videos. And you can also watch the next video shown here.